Yo, what's up, bros and broettes? Broettes, <laughs> fellow vegans. Uh, today, I actually decided, sitting at home, I was like, you know what? There's, you know, some recipes out there that I actually really enjoy making, and uh, so I'm gonna. This is my uh, little thing of showing you guys what I like making. Uh, I'm actually gonna show you guys how to cook what I like cooking, and my personal favorite is going to be. Uh, it's kind of like a vegan chicken noodle soup. Now the recipe I looked at gave, basically gave me a baseline of what I like, or well, I mean what I started with, and then I just kind of made it into my own thing from that point. Uh, now I have no measurements of the seasonings, and I only use three. And let me show you real quick what they are. There's only three seasonings I use. I use. Let me focus this. I use. Black ground pepper. Okay. I use. I uh, can't wait to get into the new cabinets. I use the. I use salt. All right, got that. And where are you? Not oregano. Here we go. And Italian seasoning. These are the three seasonings I use: Italian seasoning, black, black pepper and salt. As far as the seasonings go, that's it. That's all I use. And there's focus back on my face. Alright, so that is step one is getting the, getting your seasonings out and then getting what else you need out of the fridge. So next I'm gonna go ahead and grab what I need. I'm gonna need to grab some carrots since these are the newer ones. The older ones are at the bottom. I'm gonna need an onion or two. I typically use two onions because I like to make a lot of the soup. So that's one onion. Gonna need another one. Okay, that makes two onions. That's trash. And then gonna need some carrots. I'll just grab two of these because they're kind of big. I'm going to grab two carrots. Get that back in there. And I'm going to grab about two or three stalks of celery. So we got that. This is not the easiest thing to do one-handed, but hey, we'll get it done. Come on. Give me the celery. Well, <laughs> when I get that, I'll come back when I got the celery. All right, guys. So next thing is, like as I as I showed you, I got the uh, celery, the carrots, and the two onions. So I got two onions, two carrots, and three celery stalks. Depending on the size of your celery celery stalks, you might want more or less. Now, I actually really like my soup to be hearty, so uh, I like it to be with a lot of stuff in it. My wife likes it more brothy. She likes a lot more broth than she does of the stuff. So I make it more to her liking as far as the broth goes. But what I typically do is I use two things of vegetable broth. I use, because I make it in this big pot, and I make a lot. So I use two things of vegetable broth. And then I also use several cups of uh, water, and uh, to help combat watering it down, I put my seasoning in it. So salt, pepper, and uh, Italian seasoning. Uh, but with that said, I typically use, uh, as far as noodles go, you know, because uh, I typically use this for my noodles. Uh, last time I made it, I used uh, linguine. I just broke it up into small pieces, which is probably what I'm going to use again today. Uh, but since there's no chicken in it, I use to get my good source of protein. Let me grab this. To get a good source of protein, I use lentils. Um, they're very high in protein, uh, they cook very well. And uh, every once in a while when I make it, I also add this, I don't know how to pronounce this, it's a super grain, quina, quina, I have no, no idea how to pronounce that, but 
that's everything. Now I'm going to go ahead and get these peeled and cut and then uh, I'll come back when I got those peeled and cut. So I'm going to cut these, cut the onions, peel and cut these. So I'll be back once I got those done. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually show you guys how I cut my onions. Now, obviously, you guys can cut them however you want, but what I'm going to do, I already cut off the ends, you know, uh, the ends of the onion. And then once I got the ends cut off, then I just kind of cut them in half, peel the top layer off. Now, for me, I just cut them... few times from the from one cut end to the other cut end so, as you can see now what that does is it gives me pieces that are this long um, and then you know just kind of because you want your you don't want your onion pieces too big but you don't want them diced either so you kind of just want them cut and the reason I do it like that is because once you got the onion, they kind of just break apart into pieces like that. You know, and obviously they shrink a little bit as you cook them. But that's... Now, I'm probably just going to use one onion today, uh, but what I like to do is I like to put a little bit of uh, olive oil extra virgin olive oil, that's all we use uh, to cook with. Uh, extra olive oil in the bottom of the pan and then turn it on to like a medium heat. Uh, that way um, uh, gives it a chance to cook a little bit as I'm chopping up the rest of the stuff before I add in the vegetable broth. Um, so let's get that stuff added in. All right. Those are added. I'm going to go ahead and let them cook a little bit, stirring them with a wooden spoon. That way I don't mess up the non-stick coating on the, the pots. These are expensive pots, but they still, um, you know, you don't, you want to make them last as long as you can. So use a wooden spoon helps protect the uh, stuff. All right, so at this point, I'm going to go ahead and uh, peel and cut the ends off the carrots and then cut them into like kind of thinly sliced uh, parts, so let's go ahead and get those peeled and cut. All right, now now that those are cut up, I'm going to go ahead and put them in a uh, container uh, with a little bit of water uh, just to uh, kind of cover them a little bit and then uh, pop them in the microwave for about two minutes. Um, that way just to soften them up quicker and then uh, put them in with the uh, in with the soup. A little bit. You don't need it completely full, just enough in there, about half, half the carrots covered. Put a lid on there. Snap down three of the sides, keep one corner up for venting, open it up, oh no, my carrots, alright, two minutes, let that go, alright guys, so I got my onions to the point where I want them, I uh, cooked them a little bit, so now I'm going to go ahead and add my vegetable broth. vegetable broth. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a cup of um, lentils. Go ahead and add the cup of lentils. All right, approximately one cup. Go ahead and add that in. At this point, I typically turn the heat up to high to get it to a boil. Um, so when it comes to this stuff, I don't measure anything. I, do, I typically just do this right here. Just give it a little, a little dusting of it and call it a day. This stuff tends to expand a little bit, um, so I don't use a lot of it. 
Um, up next is seasoning. Same goes for all of these. I typically dust very heavy with the Italian seasoning, so let's get that in there. Now when I'm done dusting with my Italian seasoning, that's what it looks like before I stir it. It just looks like seasoning on top. Now again, season this to, season this to your liking because everyone taste is different. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get the cracked pepper in there and then some of the salt. Now at this point is where I actually start adding a couple cups of water. I typically add quite a bit, probably about, I don't know, I'd say about eight cups of water, um, just to make it really brothy. This process takes a while, so you'll see how long it takes. I'll, I'll go ahead and fast forward it now. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I added eight cups of uh, water. Now, as you can see, it definitely uh, added a lot more broth. Now, um, the main reason um, I have salt is uh, the, the original recipe called for salt. Uh, not very much, but since I add so much water to make it more brothy, I add a lot more salt. Now, I don't measure my salt. I don't measure anything as far as like these season. These are only three seasonings. I don't measure anything. I measure my water. I measure, I use two of these. And the carrots, you don't really measure that. You just pick how many carrots you want and, and whatnot. <laughs> um, but my seasoning, I do not measure. I give it a couple cracks of pepper, a whole lot of Italian seasoning, and uh, salt, I give it a, a dusting. Now, it all, like I said, it all comes to what you want. So add add it as you see fit to get it to where the taste that you want it to be at. Now me, I give it a dusting. I let it cook for a little while so that the flavor of the seasonings cook into the juice and the broth and everything. And then I taste it, see if I like it. Now if I think it needs anything else, maybe more pepper, more salt, more Italian seasoning, I add it. I add some more, let it cook a little bit, and see where I'm at. So that's my advice. But again, this is just a... I'm cooking to show you guys my favorite vegan meal that I love making. Whether it's cold out, it's great when it's cold out. Um, cold, hot, I don't care. I love this soup. So let's go ahead and add the pepper, I mean, add the, the salt. This doesn't need to be on the sink, I mean, on the stove. So give this a little dusting. There we go. Now we'll let it cook, um, you know, heat up. Oh, I gotta add my carrots. So my carrots, you know, cooked in the microwave for two minutes. I'm just gonna go ahead and dump these completely in there with the juice and everything. And there we go. At this point, I have it turned up to high. High heat, as you can see, it's up to high. And I'm gonna throw the lid on it, keep the heat in get it boiling faster, get it mixing and, and everything faster. And uh, once I get the, the, the flavor where I want it to be, and that's cooked a little while because uh, the lentils, if you don't let them cook for a little while, then they, they kind of stay a little hard. So you want them to cook for a little while. Uh, I typically cook them for about 25 to 30 minutes before I even put any of the, um, any of the noodles in because if you try and cook the noodles that whole time, the noodles tend to get really soft, mushy, and you don't want that. You kind of want it cooked, but not overcooked. So with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and let that cook for another 25 to 20 minutes, 25 to 30 minutes. So we'll be back at 10.05. So at 10.05, we'll be back to check that. Yeah. <laughs> and see where the flavor is at that point, too. So I'll be back in 30 minutes. On well, 25 minutes. Alright, guys. Uh, it's been boiling for a little while. Uh, it's actually been about 20 minutes now. As you can see, I have five minutes. I got the flavor to where I want it to be. Next up is to um, add the noodles. So I'm going to 
go ahead and open this up and break them up to the size that I want. So let's get to it. Almost done. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, um, I don't like really long noodles, so I'm just going to break these in half. And then break these in half again. So, and then break these halves in half. Alright, put the lid back on. Actually, I'm gonna taste it just to make sure my flavor is perfect. <laughs> so. Needs more salt. That's all my seasoning salt. Oh, not seasoning salt, Italian seasoning, which means I need to get more. And that's why you guys season and taste, season and taste, because you don't know if it's on point for your liking or not. So um, at this point, it should be on point, but again, I'll let it cook a little longer and then I'll come back and taste it. So. But that, guys, is, it's that easy, and it's all natural, so I mean, car real carrots, you know, <laughs> it's just good. So, once I get this all done, I'll show you what it looks like, all done. Actually, you know, that's basically it. It's gonna, just got to cook a little bit longer. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me showing you guys how to make my favorite vegan recipe. Um, it's not my wife's favorite, but it's definitely my favorite so far. So with that said guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me making my favorite vegan meal. Until next time guys, peace out and never look back.